Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be building a botanical garden um, and it's like the, one of the indoor ones in the massive greenhouses and they're absolutely beautiful. I did a lot of research looking up different sort of places and took inspiration from a few different areas. I saw a few that had this beautiful round shape and the big domed ceiling so that is what I wanted to go for and I did sort of three sections. I had like the main section and then two side sections as well as some other things going on. Um, this I have set as a wedding venue because I've made it very wedding themed especially on one side but you can change it to whatever you like. I've also included a little park in there for children and there's also a little sort of pet area well it's more like an insect area I don't know what you'd call it there's most probably a name for it um, where you can go see like butterflies and stick insects and mantises and stuff like that just like a little explore bit but I kept the wedding area sort of to one side and sort of put signposts around so it looked like it was like oh this is the wedding area or wedding guests go this way and tried to keep the other side sort of blocked off if that makes sense so I was trying to go with this idea first with the long sections in between but I don't end up doing this. I end up shortening those areas between um, the second round portions just because the shape was a bit odd. But with circles I wasn't sure whether where the walls ended was working but I've tested this. Your sims can walk through this um, even though the doors are a bit funny. I used single doors and made them look like double doors. It's a little bit of a trick to do if you want the double door effect on a rounded wall. I also didn't film everything with this or you would just be sitting here watching me place every single window. I did show some of it but not all of it and it would get extremely boring. It's quite annoying that the um, single door doesn't have the second wall height so for that I just used the base game little rectangular window and just placed that above those single doors at the front. And I just wanted to include as much greenery as possible as well as some uh, like little pond areas. So I do do a pond in this little area here and added some uh, greenery and stuff around it. And I did it more, more polished I'd say where there is a shrubbery and stuff that's well kept and looked after as well as some natural trees around the area. The left side of the greenhouse also I didn't put anything in it. It's totally bare and I thought it's there for you to do what you want with it you could make it any sort of area you want you could make it more of a florist station slash garden station where the workers go and make up bits for the main section and the one on the right hand side is for the wedding guests and i've just put one singular tree in the center that has lights going around it and it's got a dance floor didn't check if the dance floor is usable because the tree does go through the middle but there's another dance floor as well as the one in there but I was like it can be like an indoor dance area in case it's raining because you never know in the sims when it's going to rain so I wanted to create an indoor area also and there's also a bar in there I think I did have a DJ booth but removed it because it was a little bit too large so I went ahead and added a speaker instead just because the DJ booths are absolutely huge so I want to go for more of a traditional look if you know what I mean um it to me it sort of looks like Victorian era sort of a greenhouse style I don't know if that is correct it's just what I'm imagining in my head of the old styles of greenhouses slash botanical gardens that you can go to you can still go to now there are some really beautiful ones all around the world like there's more modern ones as well but they are absolutely stunning um I have been to one that is near my house it's not that big but it is absolutely beautiful so since you can't terrain pin and there is not very many grass options for flooring and I didn't want to do the full area grass but the way circle rooms work is absolute nightmare. I use these like tile pieces which are actually in base game in the debug section to make it look like there is sections where the plants are growing so it's not just all over the floor and you can traverse around those. I also had to size things down quite a lot otherwise it was sticking through the windows. I think I managed not to have anything sticking out the windows other than in the wedding section side. A few leaves stuck sticking through but nothing too major so I was like I'm just gonna leave it it's fine. I did use tool mod on some of the trees in here but don't worry if you want to download it tool mod does not matter and um, once it's been done by the person who uploads it you can still have that downloaded in your game totally fine totally usable 
Um, the only thing I'd recommend is if you've seen something with tool mod in, um, they might say in the description, if you click on an item, say that is normally connected to a wall and they've moved it to the floor. If you click on it, it will then just automatically snap to the wall. So this won't do it because it's just sizing down items. That's all I have done. But just bear that in mind if you ever download anything that has used tool mod. So I wasn't sure how to decorate around the edge of this path section, but I ended up going with hedges all the way around the edge instead of like planters. This is mainly because I wanted areas to be sort of private, like especially like the wedding side. So I was like, if I have hedges there, it's sort of blocked off. There's only one entrance into the wedding portion and there's only one entrance into the main botanical section. All the side on the left is totally blocked off. You'd have to go through and around to be able to access that area just to keep wedding guests and normal people separate. I also did a little platform viewing area over the water here. There should be koi in this pond because I used the lily pads that are supposed to have koi underneath. So I'm just adding a few more things dangling from the ceiling in the greenhouse just to make it look a little bit more full and colourful. And it's annoying because when you zoom out, some of the items sort of disappear as you zoom out when you're trying to get pictures, which is was super annoying when getting the thumbnail. But it looks absolutely beautiful if you go in tab mode when you're in live mode and look around it actually looks beautiful so this area here is where i have done the little it's not a pet section it's not a terrarium i can't i don't know what you call it but it's like an area where they keep warm for animals that need to be kept warm like frogs normally lizards but there isn't lizards in the game I don't think there's lizards in the game, I'm pretty sure. I didn't check my pet, first pet stuff fact. I'm pretty sure it's just um, like fuzzy animals that are in that, but I could be wrong. But I made little terrariums, vivariums, I can't remember what they're called, the ones where they have animals in. Um, I will do a tutorial on how to do this because I think it is pretty neat. I've seen somebody do a similar thing, um, but I've sort of taken my own step with it. But I wish the butterflies looked like they flew more so I could have some more in the middle of the screen. I did try that, but they just flapped their wings so slow it looked odd. So I had to put them down on leaves and stuff like that, which is annoying, but it still looks pretty cool. And I also included a frog and also mantis and a stick insects in here. I also did the little aquarium hack where you size down the fish tanks inside a swimming pool and you get like you put loads of them down so it looks like there's a big massive fish tank and I don't know who came up with that originally but it's a really really cool idea so kudos to whoever did that first. So this is the most fun I've had building in a while. I was just going wild with it and I really really enjoyed it. Something normally of this size would take me a while because it's I've said in the past I have to take breaks between doing stuff like this. This only took me two days and that was only because I had to go to bed. I had to stop and then came back the following day to finish it off. So I'm really happy with this build. Um, I will upload it to the gallery. My gallery ID is Storm Design YT. Um, it's super annoying. Somebody has taken Storm Design, so I had to put YT at the end, which just means YouTube. When I first started to build this, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I thought I was just going to do the botanical garden and this section here. And I was like, I need something else because I've done it on quite a big lot. And I love this lot as well. It is the perfect lot for what I've done. This is in the My Wedding Stuff Pack. Um, if you were ever thinking about getting My Wedding Stuff Pack, I personally would have got it just for the world. And I mean, that's why I did get it. The world is absolutely stunning. I do most of my builds in this world because honestly, I love it so much. Um, it has like stairs coming up to it. So it just suits this build really, really well. But yeah, I wasn't sure about doing it as a wedding venue at first. It came to me afterwards because I was thinking I have seen weddings being done in botanical gardens. So I did an outdoor section here. I did a gazebo area first, which had the glass roof, and I was gonna do like the wedding stuff on there, but because of the way the aisle works, it's too long. 
So I end up having this more of a background thing and put a piano in here and then do the little wedding section just next to it. So it'd be really good for photo ops. All I was thinking was this would be great for photos. This would be great for photos. So if you need to have some nice photos for your Sims wedding, this would be a perfect build. I think it's because there's so many different opportunities. There's not just one, there's loads of different backgrounds. I also created a little seating area using mainly the romantic garden stuff pack, which is a super old pack. Um, I think it was maybe the third stuff pack, maybe fourth, I can't remember. But I think it was one of my first stuff packs that I bought. But I did a little section coming next to this gazebo where you can see at the minute there's path there. I didn't end up doing that. It does change in a bit. And it's just a little section that goes down the side where you could get photos of your sims. And I line up my stuff this way at first and I decided I want to do it on a diagonal. I don't know why. It, it, I just wanted a diagonal. So I do change this a little bit and set things on a diagonal. Also a shorter aisle because this was way, way too long, especially because I wanted to add some more things around this. So I this is where I've done the little wedding guest section where you walk through to the wedding area because this was fully fenced off but you can see that sign i put down i put a few of those down that follow the path so it'd be like the wedding guests would have to follow the path around and follow the signposts i know technically your sims don't need that but i like a little bit of realism in my game i say that as somebody that doesn't actually play and just builds but i like realism in my builds i also decided to light up all around the wedding section um because i was like could be nice as a nighttime wedding venue as well as a daytime one. It looks so beautiful on the evening. Would highly recommend doing a wedding on an evening in The Sims because the lighting is just beautiful. So these lights here I do end up moving because I end up doing the more sit down eat section just down here. So your Sims would have to walk back down here to sit and eat afterwards. I mean, they could eat anywhere because your Sims most probably will just eat anywhere. If there's a seat and there's a table, they're sitting at it. This is where I've done it, the little section. And I was really inspired by a lot of pictures I've seen of weddings where they have the string legs going all the way across the top. So I went ahead and did that. I was going to do them where they rotate, but it, it was just driving me insane that they didn't quite meet up when rotating them. So I just ended up doing them straight like this. And then I decided to do the long runners of tables because I've seen this done and I think it looks absolutely stunning. And I ended up doing two rows and then I change it slightly and have a little head table at that right hand side for the bride and groom. So what I don't show in this video is a lot of adding the greenery at the end. So lots of trees and stuff like that. I don't really show it because it's something that takes time and you're not really going to see because I'm tilting down really low to make sure the trees don't overlap so I decided to just do that off camera so if anything changes that is why because I do do stuff off camera sometimes and I did add a dance floor on here as well like I said there is the section on the inside of the greenhouse and the outside you can see I'm placing some plants here and I use I'm using the plants that are from the my wedding stuff pack because it suits the world around it and I put rocks down all the way to the edge of the gravel paving that I did and this took so long because there's so many gravel paint um gravel terrain sections because I did it on the other side also I made sure to leave gaps where your sim can walk through to get certain areas like you can see here I've left a little gap just next to the aisle this is to go towards that little section where I said be a great photo op opportunity something else I did is create a little section for kids so and this is at the opposite side because I was like, I don't want them to disturb wedding guests, but I do want this to be more of a community thing because I feel like that is what it is like in real life. You would have areas where they will block off wedding guests, but the still normal people can come. So I made a little climbing frame here. I quite kept it quite basic. I was going to do the first slide that I normally do, but it didn't quite work because I put this on a platform, but I sort of had to put it on a platform because I'm using the medium wall height it made the climbing frame so so tall which i was like it looks stupid so i end up putting them on platforms to make the walls look shorter so that is the reason for that i also fix how tall these are also by doing a little roofing trick i almost forgot to add toilets so i do just add one of those little standard outdoor booth things and just do a little gravel pavement also towards that 
and I added the elephant in here. I also added some of the other animal hedges that are in the game and placed them around for a little bit of fun for children, of course. But that is it for this build. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.